welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a new video and today we're going to be discussing some of my empties which are skincare products that i used up for the last couple months some lifestyle products there aren't any makeup products just because i'm constantly trying out makeup and i never really get a chance to empty anything when it comes to something that's um beauty slash makeup related but before we get started if it's your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like before button. we get started i would like to mention today's sponsor and today's video is sponsored by duval duval was nice enough to reach out and send me their radiant spin care brush system i love this this is my second time actually working with the brand i really love this skincare brush it is pretty affordable especially if you use my discount code which is kaya you will get 70 percent this skincare system includes a cleansing brush an exfoliating brush and a pumice and the pumice brush of course you could use this on your feet everybody wants baby soft feet but anyway um I like to really use the cleansing brush every single day. I pretty much use this to cleanse my face. And I also like to use this to apply face masks, especially when there's times where I don't feel like putting a, um, any clay or anything on my hands. I'll just put it right on my brush and then I'll go over my face with it, let it dry. So you can find multiple ways to use each uh, brush head. Also, they have a, um, a body brush that you can use for body exfoliation in the shower. So I will highly, highly recommend this brush care system. Anybody, especially if you want really healthy glowing skin um, this brush system is amazing especially if you have oily acne prone skin so definitely go over to Duval check them out and don't forget to use the code Kaya for 70% off your purchase you really need this brush like I promise you this brush will really make a big difference in your skincare regimen. Empties, I'm gonna start with, I guess some lifestyle products would be some candles that I picked up from Bath and Body Works. And the first candle that I pretty much burned to, I couldn't burn it anymore. This is the Sugar Lemon Zest candle this smelled really good the best way to sum this up is that it smelled exactly like lemon heads so like this candle is perfect to sit in the bathroom or in your kitchen just because of how zesty the lemon is even though it kind of reminds me of a lemon head but this just smelled really good so i would highly highly recommend this candle y'all already know bath and body works make some of the best candles even though they're on the pricey side but they're still pretty good and i also used up this lavender marshmallow Candy smelled exactly like lavender and marshmallows, exactly what the name is. So I just wanted to mention these two to y'all because these are two products that I did empty. One more lifestyle product, I guess you would consider this lifestyle. This is the probiotic gummies from the Up and Up brand, which is the Target brand. Um, I've been trying to, you know, get more regular with taking different vitamins in the morning. And I picked up this one just because you should be taking a probiotic. And this is supposed to help with your digestive system. I don't know if this really worked because I don't have digestive issues so again I don't know why I picked this up but I did use it and I had the gummy flavor which pretty much tastes exactly like candy and I feel like this wasn't that expensive I think for this whole entire bottle of 80 gummies it was like um six or seven dollars so this is another product i emptied that i did want to mention to you guys this product is a hair care product from briogeo i rarely talk about hair care products on my channel but y'all this was amazing to me this is their blow dry perfection and heat protecting cream i mainly use this on days where i was blow drying my hair um and I feel like this helped cut down the time with blow drying my hair and it also gave me that extra heat um, protection. So I would definitely purchase the purchase this again and I believe this was about $25 and y'all I really tried to get every drop of this out because as you see I actually cut the side of it to get some of the cream out so I would highly highly recommend this now I'm not the, the biggest fan of Briogeo products just because I've tried a few and I felt like they really didn't live up to my expectations but this actually did so I'm definitely repurchasing this again okay so let's get into some skincare products that I've emptied up the first one I'm going to start with is this glow recipe guava vitamin c dark spot serum i already picked up a backup during a sephora sale y'all this vitamin c is everything to me you really see a difference in your skin right away honestly you see a difference within two weeks especially when it comes to dark spots um this vitamin c you can use during the day and you can also use it at night i have a couple dark spots on my face they're actually starting to fade all of my dark spots are right here so looking straight at me you can't see them but when i'm not wearing makeup you definitely can see them on the sides of my face especially the 
areas where I have um, worn a mask and like the mask is sitting like right there on your cheeks, I have dark spots in that area. And this definitely has faded a lot of those spots. And I use this um, again during the morning. Sometimes I use it at night and I like to keep this in my skincare fridge just because vitamin C is one of those products that goes bad pretty quickly. So I just like to keep this in the area that's cool and dark to make it last a little longer. And I would say the average um, length of time this lasts for me is about a month, month and a half. And now if I use it like every other day, I probably could make this last about two months, but this is definitely worth picking up. If you have dark spots or just looking for a good vitamin C, this is one to check out. I haven't had any breakouts or any skin irritation with this, so I will highly, highly recommend this one. Next product that I empty, and it comes from Laneige. This is their water sleeping mask. I picked this up a few months ago at Marshalls, and I actually end up buying um, this again in Sephora. But again, in Marshalls, I think I will buy every single one on the shelf just because it's much cheaper at Marshalls. And again, that's how much I like this product. As you see, I have used all of it. This is pretty much a moisturizer that you use at night. This put a lot of hydration back into your skin and it's also lightweight. This is not like heavy or thick on your skin or causes your skin to be... I know, I again, I have oily skin, so depending on what I use at night, sometimes I could wake up in the morning and my skin is extra um, oily. So this doesn't do that. This is very lightweight. It gives you enough hydration. So um, again, I will highly, highly recommend this this is so worth they've it. changed the i think they added squalene or squalene i don't know how you say it but i have the newer version and i like that one um as well i really don't see that much of a difference so if you were trying to figure out to pick up this one or the new one that they kind of reformulated it's pretty much the same thing in my opinion i have another sleeping mask and it comes from chanel this is the hydra beauty camilla repair mask and this is a mask that you can use in multiple ways you can apply this and leave it on for 10 minutes and rinse it off or or you can use this as a overnight mask and rinse it off in the next the next morning when I use this a lot of times I will use it as an overnight mask or nights when I felt my skin was really dry I will put this on and then I will sit in front of this face steamer and you will see a huge difference in how hydrated and moisturized your skin look your skin just feels so soft and your skin looks really really healthy um, I've had this about a year and it lasts a pretty long time actually I have a lot of product left that I still can use but I wanted to mention this just because I am almost in. Um, now I know this could be kind of pricey. This is about 50 to 60 dollars I believe but it is so worth it and it lasts a year and I use this a lot during the winter especially when it was like cold and dry. This came in handy. The product I empty is a cleanser. This is the Dior Hydra Life Lotion to Foam Cleanser. Y'all I love this. It's another product that lasts a long time. I only have a drop in it. I will be repurchasing this again. I see that Dior came out with the new foaming cleanser. Now I need to do my research and see if it's the same thing and they repackaged it different or it's just a different product in general. But y'all, if you have oily skin, and you really want a good foaming cleanser that's going to really get down in your pores but not strip your skin, this is the perfect cleanser. Um, it does have fragrance, but it's like a fresh, clean scent. I never experienced any breakouts or any skin irritation with this. Highly, highly recommend this. I know this is, again, on the pricey side. This was maybe $40, $45, but it is so worth it, and it lasts a long time. And this was made for oily skin. I'm not sure if they have a version for dry skin, but I'm mentioning that because I don't want somebody to go pick this up and their skin dry and it really like dries the hell out of your skin. This is made for someone with more combo to oil. It's empty that I've used up and it comes from The Ordinary. This is the glycolic acid um, toning solution. I've repurchased this time and time again. I only have a drop, probably anything in it. Um, I liked this toner when I first got it, like the first time I tried it out. But I feel like over time, like my skin got used to it or it just wasn't working as good as it did when I first got it because I don't really feel like the glycolic acid did anything as far as lightening up the dark spots on my face. So, um, I will repurchase this in the future once like my skin has had like a break from it for at least a couple months, almost a year, just because I really do feel like my skin has gotten used to this and it just don't work anymore. But this is um, a really good toner, especially if you are suffering from hyperpigmentation. I will highly, highly recommend this and you get a lot of product and look how big this is and I believe this is about 
maybe $10. I do have one more um, skincare product from Chanel. This is the La Mask. This has vitamin uh, C in it. This is a clay mask. Um, also, this lasts me a long time. Perfect if you're suffering from hyperpigmentation. And also, if you have very oily skin, because uh, this is clay, and clay tends to work better on someone with oily skin, this is definitely a repurchase. I love this mask. I would mainly use this um, in the shower, like in the mornings. I never really use this at night, even though you can use it anytime, but I mainly would just put this on and get in the shower and then um, rinse it off. You leave this on for 10 minutes. This is a really good mask. Like, highly, highly recommend this one. It's Chanel. It's on the pricey side. Y'all already know that. I don't have to tell you, but it is worth picking up. Highly, highly recommend. Okay, and we are almost done. I have a few body care products to mention, and then we're done. I have is an aromatherapy um, product from Bath and Body Works. This is their shower steamer. This came with about six tabs in it. Now, you're supposed to open it up, put it in the shower, and the aroma from the tab is supposed to be like spa-like. I did not experience anything spa-like with this. I feel like this was almost a waste of money. I definitely would not repurchase this again. And if you see this on Bath & Body Works website and you're thinking about getting it, definitely pass on it. It is a waste of money. There's nothing aromatherapy about this at all. And I have another aromatherapy product from Bath & Body Works. This is their Sleep Lavender and Vanilla Body Wash and Foaming uh, Bath. Y'all, this was my everything during the winter. Definitely will repurchase this again. This smells really, really good. I mainly use this at night before bed. Now, this what products say is for sleep. I don't feel like this made me sleepy. It's not like this has melatonin in it or something, but... I did like using this at night and it smelled really good. So I would highly, highly recommend um, this if anybody was thinking about checking um, this particular fragrance out. Definitely pick One it up. One more shower gel and this is the Almond Blossom. Y'all, this smells really good. I have the lotion and the fragrance mist. Y'all, this smells really good. It smells exactly like vanilla and almonds. So if you are a fan of anything that smells like almonds, I think you would really, really enjoy it. I have one more product. This is the Whipped Shea Butter from Tree Hut. And this is the watermelon scented one. Y'all, this smells so good. And this lasts a long time. This smells exactly like a watermelon now later or like a watermelon Laffy Taffy. Y'all. I've used a heck out of this and it smells really, really good. Y'all know Tree Hut makes some of the best body care products, so I would definitely repurchase this again. Now, I've been looking for a watermelon body scrub by Tree Hut. I haven't found it yet, but when I do, I'm definitely going to buy a couple um, containers of it along with the uh, body lotion. Hey, y'all, that is it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Y'all let me know in the comment section, have you tried out any of these products or do you plan on trying them out? Leave that below in the comment section and don't forget to go over to Duval's website and check out their Radiant Spin Care System Brush and use the code Kaya for 70% off your purchase and y'all don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye.